Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you the cards I did get. This is some of the collection. It's not all of it. So I got the two game days. Dragons, very beautiful cards. This one I didn't get. So if you can kind of figure out where this came from, I just want to talk about this particular card in a video soon. So that's why I have it. I got a bunch of... No, Chief Engineer. So I got a bunch of these cards from... Gatecrass, a Chief Engineer card, probably for my ED8s. I love this card so much, and I love uh, how it's Auspef as a statue. A lot of you guys know I am fans of Auspef. Got a ton of those. Hive, so I went pretty crazy with the full arts. I don't know why, I just really wanted to trade into a ton of them. And some of them are still in package actually. So if you believe this, <laughs> and even from uh, M13, I believe. Wow, so old set. That is part of it. And then I traded for these. And there's one more Mardu Shadow Spear. Unfortunately, none of these are extremely valuable. They're like a dollar or 50 cents. Uh, they're not extreme. Oh, I do have more valuable cards to show you. Uh, packets, I do like keeping them in check, I guess. Not in check. In the packets, I don't like opening them. And yeah, so these are two from being in the top eight. Love Reclamation Saves. This is so beautiful. I, never knew, I didn't know this card existed, but then when I found it, I was like, oh. Uh, Ojate's Command, Tassiger, including a foil Tassiger, promo pre-release. Restoration Angel, Anafeza, more. Like this card used to be very expensive, now it's like $2. Uh, Justke Ascendancy, Heath, Domi, Filia, I believe I have a foil, yep, foil Filia and foil promo Restoration Angel. Tyrants and Ugin the Spirit Dragon, another playset of them. I really like Ugin. Ugin's kind of a safe place to put your put your money into it, right? Like I definitely feel like Ugin is not a bad place to hold your value in standard because it does have a immense casual appeal. Very liquid. I can never keep Ugins in my tray binder. There's so many people who want them. I mean, they're being played in standard. They're being played in. Uh, casual ED8s, so it's very easy to trade out of Ugin if you want to, like into fetch lands or something that is even more liquid. So that's what I got at pre release. Oh, I did get these two, but that's not like. And then oh, these. So, uh, very good pre release. I had a lot of fun. I did spend quite a bit of money as usual. Uh, it is expensive to go to these events. So, but I had a great time. I met people I haven't seen in a long time. I met one of my subscribers in person, and that was awesome. It's always so fun to meet you guys. I'll probably make another video about that. I'll meet you guys and played him. Actually, I played him, and he was the last match. So if I lost the match, I wouldn't have finished the top eight, and if he won the match, he would have been in the top eight. He played a deck kind of similar to mine, so I had a great time, and yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.